From the Elwena deposit in the Congo, um, bordering closely on uh, Zambia, not very large yet lovely form, a honey yellow um, citrine, natural, absolutely natural citrine, so these haven't been baked or treated in any way. What's, what's quite striking about many of these, uh, what you'll see here at this particular angle, you have this little rainbow, which is an internal fracture in the crystal. And as we move it around, you might see some uh, uh, colors of the um, uh, spectrum. So a little bit of blue, a little bit yellow maybe. Um, it's just going over here. Also, often we find, when you have a close look, now I can't see uh, at this stage, but uh, sometimes you see almost a little phantom inside the crystal. So if you look at this particular angle, um, from a form point of view, quite a lovely piece. Little guy sitting at the bottom. Of course, the Kundalini citrine quartz has uh, some esoteric properties to this, healing properties, and absolutely natural. Now, a way to see that your citrine is natural is if you look into the, the crystals, you'll see there's an absolute clarity running right through. Whereas on the on the treated or baked citrine, you'd have a almost a broken glass effect as you look into the crystal, of course uh, uh, caused by the baking process. All the way from the the Congo, Elwena deposit in the Congo, there's even some little crystals growing on the side here. Let's go across like this. So there's a formation right through. Also quite interesting. Lemurian writing is running across the side.